Hey guys, it's Sway back with another review for y'all today. And today I had the Lego Star Wars Lucas Skywalker's Land Speeder. Uh, set number 75271, ages 7 and up, and 236 pieces. Brings three minifigures as far as Luke Skywalker, 3 CPO, and a Jawa. Um, I'm very excited for this set because it's actually my first Land Speeder ever in my whole Lego Star Wars collection years. Um, but yeah, I know, it's surprising, but still. <laughs> um... I have, uh, this is just showing a few little features right here, as far as right there, you got Luke with his, uh, blaster, and then you got the little play feature as far as the job on Lil's hut right there, so, uh, yeah, enough talking about <laughs> Okay, so it wasn't that hard of a build, actually. I know I say that a lot with uh, most of the builds, uh, reviews that I do. Um, but it actually really wasn't that bad as I thought it would be. Um, especially, uh, it has more stickers than I thought it to have. Um, these are all stickers all around the front. Um, this is actually stickers right here as far as... Here, let me grab it. Uh, you got the, uh, a sticker here. You also got a sticker in the control panel. You also have a sticker on the actual engine right here on top. Those are two. And you also got another sticker up top here. Um, and then all around the front. <laughs> so you got quite a few stickers, actually. But it wasn't that ba bad of a bother. Um, it was fine by me. Um, but let's get to the minifigures. So this is going to be Luke Skywalker. And you got a little piece right here but you can actually take that off to be honest um to show his actual torso uh it definitely uh is a pretty easy thing to take off so that's going to be his front torso printing and then you got his leg printing and his uh leg printing right there all the way at the bottom then you got the back printing right there and he does come with a double-sided face so like i'm glad about that um this is actual my i think my second luke skywalker but um yeah, this is going to be his uh, little cloth piece that they actually gave him, which is actually a very nice fabric. Not going to lie, um, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, let's put that aside. Let's put him all the way over here. And then his blaster is going to be right on the vehicle. Then let's take a look at 3CPO. Uh, I used to have another 3CPO, um, but I like this 3CPO a lot. To be honest, the detailing on him is really good. Um, this is torso printing, and then you also got his leg printing right there. And then you also got his uh, back printing. But yeah, I feel like uh, 3CPO doesn't really change throughout the years that much. I feel like he stays the same, mostly the same sometimes. Um, same thing with the Jawas. You got the Jawa right here. Um, the front printing right there for you. You can take off his hoodie. You can take a look at better look at it. And then you got this back printing. Um, I don't think there's any much printing that there. Nah, there's not much printing on his face. It's just uh, more of a dark face with two circles. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's get into the vehicle, actually. So, the vehicle is actually a really good design. It wasn't that hard of a build, especially with the whole interior. Um, as far as... Let's put that to the side. As far as the engines, that was a little bit of a tricky uh, piece to actually build sometimes. Especially with this one, with the actual Technic, peak, uh, Technic piece. Um, I was actually wondering whether we're going with that in the direction, but it took me a while to figure it out for some reason. Um... The whole interior of the actual speeder is actually pretty cool and it's pretty spacious to fit two minifigures. Uh, very uh, cozy, not just shoved in there. Um, that piece right there, that control panel is an actual sticker. Uh, you got the actual steering wheel right here. Um, and these seats do decline, uh, recline down and they do recline all the way back sometimes. Um, you also have this little compartment here um, that brings binoculars. Um, you can also put... Um, if you have his lightsaber and you want to do a stop motion with it, you can definitely do that too. So yeah, there's that. And then you have the little Jawa's little, uh, cave. Uh, it does, uh, have a little compartment for his blaster. And you got a little plant right here. Not much of a complicated build, nothing too crazy. But it is a good build. I'm glad they use different tan pieces. And they also use quite a few different pieces to create that, uh, cave kind of feel to it. Um... But yeah, um, an overall set, I definitely have to give it, um, I have to say, uh, 9 out of 10. I know, 9 out of 10 is kind of like, meh, um, as far as this, uh, a set. I just wanted, uh, Obi-Wan, to be honest, to be in this set, but you get him in the Obi-Wan's hut. Um, that's why I'm pretty sure why they didn't include him in this set. Um, it's my, that's just my opinion. You can either got the Obi-Wan or you can actually give a little bit of a more build towards his hut or this uh, cave that they have the Jawa in. Um, because he tends to be fit in there pretty, like, 
like you really have to just actually put them in there which i haven't been able to do sorry i haven't been able to put them in there very well um very secure um unless you just put them in there without attaching them to the studs and then he actually does fit in there so um that's one of the things but other than that it's a great set don't get me wrong i definitely gotta get it i don't regret it at all um but yeah and then there's gonna be his uh his rifle uh blaster right here uh with a light serpent hill attached to the end of it uh, that just attaches right there onto that little hook piece so uh yeah great set overall um definitely get a 9 out of 10 i definitely would recommend it so yeah this has been sway with another review for y'all today like comment and subscribe and definitely join the family because why not i post every single week i post a whole bunch of content and i'm pretty sure you guys will like some of it <laughs> so yeah definitely join the family and i will see y'all in the next video